guys, I feel like we haven't done a get ready with me in ages. So that is what we're going to do today. This is kind of off the back of my um, shot my stash video from earlier in the week. I think I posted that. And um, if you didn't see that video, basically, I'm trying to save a little bit of cash over Christmas. And I am going to be on a bit of a no buy, at least until Boxing Day. Now, I did think I was already filming and I wasn't. So I've already put on my base, which is the MUA Pro Base Softening Facial Oil Stick. This is basically, well, what it says on the tin, it's like a solid oil. So if you've got particularly dry skin or skin that you feel like needs a little bit of layer of hydration or moisturizer before your base, this is perfect. And I'm really between two base products. One is the MUA Pro Base Long Wear Matte Finish Foundation. And the other one is the Lumen Instant Glow Fresh Skin Tint. FYI, this was sent to me. Um, this is amazing stuff. If you are into skincare more than cosmetics, more than color cosmetics, it does give you a nice kind of glow, a nice tint to the skin, as the name suggests. However, it is more skincare based. And especially when my skin is particularly dry, this is just, it feels so nice. It feels really refreshing on the skin. However, not great when it comes to wear time, not great for oil control. I need my makeup to last um, a good amount of time today, so I'm gonna go with this one, I think. I'm tempted to mix the two, but I'm not going to. The colour I have is 110, uh, and the brush that I'm using to apply is an It Cosmetic, again, this was sent to me, um, an It Cosmetics brush, what's it called? It's called the Complexion Perfection Number no. 7. What I like about this, other than the fact that it does kind of blend really nicely, also, properly tried to just blend that into my mouth um is because it's double ended it's nice for your concealer as well so i'll show you that in a second um but depending on what kind of formula i'm using this tends to be one of my absolute favorites i also have this one which is from blank canvas if you've got a foundation which is like super super easy to blend you don't have to worry too much about it kind of streaking it's just it makes super, super quick work. With this, because it's a little bit more liquid, and also because I have freshly microbladed eyebrows, I wanna be a little bit more careful about my application. I don't wanna like go over them. So I'm using the smaller brush. I'm just gonna actually use this. It's a bit more dense as well. Well, a lot more dense. I'm gonna use it on my forehead because I felt like it was collecting a little bit. It's actually a really nice finishing brush. Okay, it is kind of settling, to be honest, into my pores around here. But like I said, my skin has been not super great recently. So we're going to go into concealer. What concealer did I bring? This one. The Instant Age Rewind. I'm reading it and I'm reading it completely differently. Instant Anti-Age Erase Concealer. It's like muscle memory. The American one is called Instant Age Rewind or just Age Rewind, something like that. And I used to buy this, the light one, whenever I went to America. And so for years, I didn't even realise they were two completely different names. I don't know why. You know, sometimes it makes sense. With this, it just doesn't. It is settling a little bit again into some dryness. I'm going to use this Quick Fix spray from Urban Decay. It's the Hydra Charge Complexion Prep Priming Spray. This is something that you can use underneath your makeup. You can use it as skincare if you want to. It's just like a hydrating mist. Or you can use it to um, refresh your makeup throughout the day. I wasn't going to use this. Again, freshly microbladed eyebrows. But I like to live on the edge. And I'm assuming there's nothing in it that's going to be too terrible. But you know, this is one of those, don't try this at home, situations. It also smells amazing, it's super coconutty. Uh, but I feel like when I've got something on that is a little bit heavy or is not working so well with my skin, that's a really nice refresher in the middle. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it like helps in any way or if it is completely in my mind, but I like that when I feel like I've gone too heavy. While that is drying a little bit, I'm gonna use my Revlon Colorstay Eye Primer. I'm also going to put a little bit underneath my eyes because I do put eyeshadow on my lower lid as well. I kind of felt like I had to put on makeup today because the eyebrows just look absolutely crazy. This is, they will die down from this, just FYI. I'm not going to have like full on lazy town, Robbie Rotten eyebrows. Also, I'm fully back on the um, energy drink wagon. I am feeling horrendous recently. I'm definitely coming down with a cold. I've had a sore throat for days and days and days. I've been waking up throughout the night, just not fun. Um, and the energy drinks are the only thing that's seeing me through. Um, right, I'm going to use this Becca, what's it called? Hydra Mist um, Set and Refresh Powder. Now, I bought this a few months ago and I wasn't super keen to begin with, but I feel like I should give it another go. The thing that made me want it in the first place was it was a total gimmick. You open it up. This whole kind of thing is hydration themed, isn't it? Um, you open it up and if you touch it, it is cold to the touch. It's the weirdest thing ever. Um, it's a very, very fine powder, 
but it's cool and it feels like you're putting water on your face. Um, I'm going to use a small brush. This one is the setting brush from Real Techniques. But I have to be sparing because when I put this on before, it feels so weird. It does, it just feels like you're putting water on your face. Um, I was not sparing because it feels it almost like it's got a drag. You know, as if it is a damp brush. And so I was like going back in and then loading more up. And I think that's why I didn't like it. I think it was my application more than anything. Um, and so I am going to persevere. I've put it in my makeup stash to use over the next week or so. And we shall see. I don't know, guys. Again, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but it's definitely kind of all between the foundation and this. I'm having a real hard skin time right now. Also, I pretty much only ever set with powder down the center of my face. So I like to do just in here because I do have those hollows in my eyes. Some people do. Some people have kind of like more of a bag on the outside. Like we all have our crosses to bear. Uh, and these little hollows bother me because um, when I get oily, they kind of become more obvious. Like the the texture, I don't know. I know those of you who know what I'm talking about, know what I'm talking about, but you know what I'm saying. So I don't like that. I like to blur them a little bit, um, but I don't put any powder on the outside. I just put it again here because it helps to blur the pores and then the areas that I get oily, but I don't really put anything anywhere else. The only problem with that, of course, is when I go to put on um, any kind of face powder, a face powder, face product, I'm just using this to kind of like try to set the rest of my face without using, you know, it's just imaginary powder. Um, then sometimes it can kind of cling to the areas that don't have powder on because that skin is a little bit more tacky, but hey ho, you know, you do what you do. And I would rather not have powder in the areas that I feel like that's where I'm more likely to have um, fine lines. So I'm gonna use this, Cheek Leaders. I don't even know, know if you can still get this, but there'll be a, a Christmas version. Cheek Leaders from Benefit. Um, I haven't used this yet at all. I've had it since the summertime. Oops. Uh, and when I was doing my shop, my stash, I was like, enough is enough. You need to try this. So I'm going to use Dandelion because I don't think I ever have used Dandelion before. Is it just like a little pink? It looks matte. Is it matte? I have a gorgeous um, NARS blush. And the only reason that I bought it is because I read in a magazine or on an art, more likely online, isn't it? Who reads things in magazines these days? Uh, but I read somewhere that um, Blake Lively's makeup artist uses it on her. And what is it called? It's just a pale pink. It will come to me. Um, but I really, really like that colour. And I feel like this is a very similar thing. That's more peachy though. It's obviously got a sexual name. It's Nars. What is the name? Someone will be like screaming at the screen right now. I like this actually. I like it. You know when you're like applying and applying and applying, you won't necessarily know. But later on, you look, or for me, I look at editing and I'm like, stop, like enough. Um, I also have something called Tickle in here. This, that looks like a super duper highlight. So we're gonna use that. I'm gonna use that same little brush that I used earlier. By the way, I mean, you're gonna know what this brush is, but I'm gonna, I'm trying to get into a better habit. I think this is just called the blush brush. It is, from Real Techniques. I'm telling you what brushes I'm using as we go along. Um, so I'm using the same brush, which was this, was it called the setting brush? Yes. Same brush that I used for um, my powder. I really like this one for highlight because it's just kind of, it's a nice placement, nice, a bit more precise. Um, and I like to kind of buff a highlight in a little bit as well. And this does it without disturbing anything underneath because it's very kind of fluffy. Right, I might be tempted to put this on my nose, but I think it's a little bit more kind of pinky blue than that. I'm not gonna do it anyway. Because I'm hip. I'm also gonna put it up here, which I instantly realize is a mistake because I just had my brows microbladed. Whatever. Right, for eyes, I have created this beautiful palette. Um, this is my basically my all-time favorite nine MAC eyeshadows, and I do believe, time will tell, but I do believe this is going to be my ultimate eyeshadow palette. I was going through stuff the other day and I was thinking, oh, I really want, I'm thinking of like, when I'm buying an eyeshadow palette, what do I want from it, and yada yada. 
And then I thought, oh my God, I've got so many mock eyeshadows. Surely I can make the palette. I don't want a big one. I discovered they do a nine. I feel like this is like a total game changer. So I'm going to use Satin Taupe, which is that middle shade, all over my lid. I'm not going to do a lot actually today, I don't think. I think I was considering for a split second that I might do something fancy. I mean, maybe. Maybe we'll do a little bit of purple as well. I'm going to use that um, deluxe crease brush. I love this so much. Right, I'm going to use it with, I think this is Wedge, this one here. And I'm going to just like put a little bit of that on my brush and use that as my, do they call it a transition colour? No, usually this deluxe crease brush, crease brush, I use um, like clean and I will uh, use it to kind of blend the last eyeshadow I use into just nothingness. Uh, I could really do with a second one if I'm going to be using it with colour like right now, but I'm trying to make it do both and soften the line. In the interest of using more colours, I'm going to use Trax, which is this gorgeous purple and metallic colour underneath my eyes, um, and hope that I don't end up with a ton of glitter fallout. They go together really nicely. These um, colours, they're kind of like a cool, they're in the right palette. Literally. I'm like totally doing my makeup for the wrong outfit that I'm wearing. And actually I'm going to use as well, this is Dazzle Light here, which is like um, a super frosty white, like an off-white. I'm going to use it in the corner of my eyes like we used to do old school. And then you have to do this face. Oh, you're doing it. Pretty. Love, 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 love. Okay, the mascara that I have is, I've never tried this before, but it is Fake It from Primark. It's called False Lash, False Lash, what is wrong with me today? False Lash Effect Extreme Volume Mascara. I can't do it. I'm hoping, okay, okay, it's looking promising. I'm hoping it's gonna be a dupe. Okay, already it's not amazing, but it's gonna be a dupe for my Lash Sensational. Now, okay, right. It's not amazing, it just isn't, but we'll give it a minute because um, I don't like this. I don't really ever understand these, but whatever, because um, I really just want like that part, but then I'm going to end up getting it everywhere. Um, I would say that maybe as it dries out, it will get better, but it feels quite dry. The texture, it's not giving me a lot. It's giving me like feathery lashes and it's not giving me like a lot it doesn't have a lot of grip to it but it's not like sliding around this is a horrible description of this mascara I realize but I feel it's nice but it's not the same and it feels dry straight away I'm gonna eat my words I'm sure I'm not I'm gonna persevere with it this is the whole point of the I mean that's quite nice actually um the whole point of the shop my stash thing is I'm gonna use these things for a little bit longer also why did I ever stop doing that? You know, the like light on the inside because it totally opens up my eyes and it maybe like makes the whole lashes thing stand out. I'm not going to do it underneath because I hardly ever do that. Lips. The NYX Nude Lip Pencil is my new favourite. It is very similar in texture. Mm, maybe not. It's a bit more creamy. Um but very similar to me uh, in the way that I would use it to the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk because it's like a, a nice neutral, I can overline my lips a little bit, but it looks natural. By the way, um, I have had questions um, over the last few months about when, I, when I've talked about overlining or overdrawing my lips, how I do it. I have got an IGTV where I kind of talk it through. It's very like teaching you how to suck eggs if you do this already. But if you literally have no idea what I'm talking about, I did have a little IGTV where I showed with a red lip um, exactly what I mean, and it's nowhere near as scary as it sounds. And then the lipstick I'm going to use is this Colour Up Shine On from Essence in the shade number 10. Oh, these are a really nice match. Beautiful. Mmm. It tastes nice. Is that weird? Okay, I'm happy with that. Given how dry my skin feels, I am happy to say that I think I look quite hydrated and dewy and... Um, Although, you know, some of this is a little lacklustre because I feel like, I mean, ultimately, if you are an oily person, you will know 
what I'm like. I'm not really a faced girl, person. Not really a person sounds weird, like you, CD. Um, but if you are, if you do have that plight, then you will understand what I mean. I say in a couple of hours it will look better. Everything seems to like the oil makes everything just a little bit nicer when it's a little bit heavy and powdery to begin with. So that's fine. But I think this is kind of a nice glowy, dewy look um, if you are struggling at this time of year with like super dry and dehydrated looking skin. Although if you would like, I will do a foundation Friday on this Lumen because I am such a big fan of it, but it doesn't really make sense. Like I want to be able to recommend it to people, but it, it also isn't that great as a foundation. So it'd be interesting to kind of do a full face and really show you what I mean throughout the day and try to kind of explain why. And perhaps in the future, we could do something where um, like there's two of us, like two completely different skin types try it at the same time. I always think, because I can only show it from my personal, what's the word I'm looking for? Perspective. Um, and it would be interesting to kind of try and do that. I don't know how we would, but yeah. If you have tried this and you've got very dry skin, let me know, because I don't, but I still... I think it's, I'm in that weird phase right now where I'm like, I'm nearing my mid thirties. I'm getting a little bit dry skin. I'm getting some kind of skin concerns that want more skincare than makeup. And so it's really appealing to me, but I still do have that oil that makes it not really appropriate for a regular foundation. Anyway, that is it for today's video. I will link below the video where I did this shot my stash, where I will have linked everything for you if you wanna watch me go through my makeup collection. Um, and I will have obviously gone through in a lot more detail about all of these products. Um, but for now, if you did enjoy this, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Well, I've got news for you. I know you're waiting. Vlogmas is right here. Hold on. It's time for it to reappear.